still struggle with that juggling issue. So well, let's see. Let's, yeah, let's find out if he can get around it once more as he uh, gets a rematch versus Space here in a loser's finals on our beautiful Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, look at that. And what I really want to want to see is it, I want to see if Space has adapted here, if he has recollected himself, because it feels like I suddenly got that comeback loss set in game four, and then he just carried the momentum to the win, right? I feel like that momentum was the key there, not even the the, the game win. It was the momentum. And I wonder if uh, Space can recompose himself and make it happen this time around. Nice string by Asterin, not going to close it out with a forward air though. And as the jab lock, a little bit of a mess up by Space, very, very rare miss. But he still has the control here. Tries to get the jab lock on a potentially missed tech, but he covers the normal, the, the neutral tech with the jab anyway. That's the up throw, up air, not going to connect there. Forward air though, going to put Greninja off stage. Shadow Sneak coming out, no punish there. You really need to punish Greninja when he goes low due to the Shadow Sneak. Yeah, but I think I studying right there was already buffering the roll for the perceived Splat Bomb. And that's where he got covered by the down smash. That's fair, but you can hit him. If he goes down that low, you can just hit him. Mm. It's very easy. Um, he can run off, run off forward air, run off an air, run off whatever. Um, but I guess Space is just trying to play it slow because mm. this slow gameplay is what's getting him the win. He does not need to take yeah, risks. I mean, in Inkling's damage output is so insane. And like you said before, the kills will come to her. Exactly. Eventually. Eventually. Let, don't get me wrong. I suddenly lift to 170 that stock. Yeah, very true. Very true. But the difference in DPS is just so great. There's an air to forward air. I suddenly immediately evening it up using one of those little tricks that up B on the platform to bounce off and regain control of his character. Very, very cute. So how does that work? He upbees into a platform and bounces off and regains oh, control that's of his it? character. That's just, <laughs> <laughs> that's just how it works. No, no inputs required, just, uh, just fly on in there? I'm, I'm honestly not sure, but it, it, it's, it's relatively simple. Yep. And that's the forward air spacing. Very, very good range there. And we see I started using a lot of back air because that's his only rising aerial, and he needs a rising aerial versus this character. Right, that sounds a little bit weird, you know. Nair, definitely not an option rising. Nope, forward air, nope. Up air, nope. Down air, nope. It, it has to be back air. And that just limits your movement so much. However, one thing that is technically a buff for Greninja, sometimes when you hit the back of his model, he will be in, in hit stun with his back turned, right? Yep. That means he can back air out of hit stun, and that helps him a lot. Mm, yeah. Down throw, poor DI by, yeah, uh, I, by I Space. Yeah, I noticed in Smash 4, you were automatically turned around when you got hit. Yep. Not so much nope. in Ultimate. There's the up throw up air. Big range on Greninja. He is light and he is a fast faller. That is a recipe for disaster. Yes, it is. Whether it's this game or any other Smash game, really. The lightweights with the fast falling are always the one who get absolutely messed up by, you know, confirms and combos. Yep. Or or the the generic normal dude. The the corns. Yeah, right, right, yep. yeah. The Fire Emblem people. Yep, exactly. And I, th I feel like they also kind of suffer from the lack of a proper combo breaking move, which goes for Greninja as well. That exactly, that's a big thing for Greninja, not having a fast get off me move while having such a good long range neutral. That really is a, a conundrum for Greninja players because you have to reset the neutral somehow. You don't want to be up close, not with a character like uh, Inkling. Inkling does not have the best uh, close quarter combat, but it's better than Greninja's. Yeah, I mean, with a jab like that, it's bound to be at least good. The, the jab and the grab as well. And look at that, no tech by Space is going to get down to his last stock for this game. However, I still think he has been on a last stock for a while now. Good arrows by us, no reaction by Space. Space is going to not mess with that Nair at all, try to jump over it, get that back air pressure. He's really trying to make the most out of his aerials right now. Gets out Space by the Greninja forward air on its neutral air. That's one of the biggest weaknesses. That back air, if he does it advancing, he does open himself up a lot. So when right, he advances, because, he you know, it might, it might be the only working rising aerial, but still, it's still not that great, not that impressive. In terms no, of hit no, no. Inkling. Oh, Inkling. When she does the, rise, uh, the, the, the advancing back air, she does open herself up. So when she advances, she wants to use neutral air. And when she wants to use... Oh, oh. no. <laughs> the clutchest of comebacks by Ice Study. We were just talking. We were just casually talking. And Ice Study was working his ass what off. What up? You're on the platform. Yep. Slice. A nearly fully charged up smash right there. Gonna kill him at 70, I, I believe it was. Something like that. And of course, he did have rage, which is not as powerful as in the it previous It still game. is powerful, though, as yeah. we saw right there. 
I love how they gave the, 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 the new swords, they gave them the little, uh, the oh, little the backside. Oh, the kunai, the kunai yeah. thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're kunai now, not swords. I, I don't know, man. I don't know Japanese. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> Chinese either. But it's some Chinese. It's like Naruto or some stuff, you know. Oh, believe, believe it. It's Greninja. Uh, oh no. Oh, oh. Can we keep <laughs> Naruto joke, out of this? Jokes aside, that was an amazing <laughs> comeback by. I it was. It was. And as I mentioned, I studying really thrives off of that momentum and space. Let's see if he can counteract that. So we're on Yoshi's Island. Now this is, uh, <laughs> I mean, it always, always always slows me down a, a bit just because of the music, you know? It's I so, love, so I love relaxing. It is relaxing. There's one of these songs on this stage that's just like the perfect song for camping someone out for <laughs> seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this one, this, yeah, one that's, this, this is a jam, though. I'm, I'm jamming to this. That, th those are the real mind games, you know? You go to a quiet, relaxing state like this, you camp your opponent out, and while you're camping, you just lightly hum the tune of the stage. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's how you do it. Anyway, I don't think any of these guys is going to be camping. It's just not in the nature. Yep, look at that. The whiff punish on the forward air. The forward air does have a decent amount of landing lag. Not huge. Enough to punish if you're sharp, though. And eye studying definitely oh. is sharp enough to make that happen. Goes for and the upward counter. Yeah, the counter. It, it looked like it kind of froze as, uh, as one. It kind of froze space in place. And because it does. Oh. It actually does. It freezes the opponent in place, which is not a projectile. And if you do it upwards, it keeps you in the, that advantage state. And I studying push that advantage state all the way to a kill. And just like that, I studying pulling out the head early after a very, very rough game one that he somehow managed to clutch out in the end. And just like that, the momentum play style that I studying has is coming into effect here. Back air, I studying that huge short hop, oh. disrupting oh. the momentum into a big combo. Good damage here for I studying. Yeah, Space trying Ooh. to find his way back in there and uh, helps my shadow shield is finally gonna do it. That was a, that was a good presence of mind. Yeah, definitely. Uh, normally when you're uh, you know in a corner like that at the lights, people don't think about using the smite sticks. The rapid jab, just like that. It's a little bit of a mountain to climb for space, but I've seen him I've seen him do worse. Still, it seems like I studying uh, has no plans on letting him make the comeback. He definitely holding on to the control very well. I studying not pressuring Inkling off stage. Uh, in my opinion, a little bit ill-advised, but I imagine cornering the opponent as Greninja is that much better. That's the back throw to grab. No fall off for space, though. Once again, he's missing. And we didn't see him miss a single time for S1, but right now he's not on point with those grab follow-ups. Mm. Maybe, maybe he's a little bit... Uh you know, yeah, a little bit chook or a little bit focused on the, the floaty characters like Ness. Ooh, good down smash with punish on the forward smash. Mm. Or, uh, and forward air. And mm. that, you know, you know the interaction that was going on there? So, Space likes to use a splat bomb to either interrupt the recovery or let's trip you. Because it's right there in the air, you cannot jump into it. Uh, it covers a lot of options. But you cannot throw out a splat bomb when I studying is already charging his shadow sneak. He will sneak past it and kick you in the face oh, yeah, and th murder you. Yeah, yeah that, that Shadow Sneak messes me up all the time. And just like that, that Shadow Sneak messed up space and it took his stock way earlier than, than uh, Greninja usually kills. And I know you can recognize the animation beforehand, but I... It's not an animation, it's a difference in um, movement speed. And the splatter, oh. space showing signs of life, back in it, nearly even right here. Uh, he got killed early by the Shadow Sneak. He gets a kill early in return. That's flatter. It's not a broken move uh, whatsoever, but it is a very, very strong move. You can The risk reward is relatively in Inkling's favor, and the fact that you have to respect it constantly uh, gives her so much more room to play the rest of her neutral. Well, let's see if he uh, can make use of it again here for the final sword. No, Amazing he can. Amazing punish on that. And as I mentioned, she either jumps or she keeps rolling. Right there, Space jumped. Got hit by the speed spot off smash. Yeah, he could have he could have kept rolling. He still would have gotten gotten hit by off smash. Probably not would have killed. Mm -hmm. Still would have gotten hit by off smash. So very so good if, option if by that. So if by if y'all playing a character who's got a fast up smash with uh, some some nice range on it, yeah, be sure to uh, match that up smash out of shield with the easy input. Yeah, so, so for for ultimate. Squirtle, I I for damage I a B. For everything else, I narrow the shield because I don't have the fast up smash. For I'm sorry, I have to narrow the shield. I don't have anything else. Uh, but for Charizard, I can just up smash it. And that's really? such okay. a big difference. Does the Ivysaur have an up smash you can use? Have you seen up smash? I have not. 
she kind of sits there for a full second and then she she explodes. So poof. Yep. Oh, it's just like her up air, except uh, it's slower. just up air, except slower and okay. stronger. It kills yeah, like yeah. 50. Wow. Okay, yeah. that's, a, that's a good move. I'm learning today. Battlefield it is. Uh, two over I studying right now. He's uh, looking to make a clean sweep here and move on to I think Super Semi in Grand Finals. Yep. Uh, but he's uh, he's got one more game to take off of Space before he gets that chance. And let's see if Spake Spake Spake. A boy Spake. If Space can pick himself back up and don't let the uh, and prevent Dennis I studying from carrying the momentum all the way to Grand Finals. I feel like this game in general it's. Uh, is very prone to letting you snowball people or getting snowballed. Exactly, and that means that if Space makes a... Oh, look at that, the Splat Bomb into the up smash, fully inked and a lot of damage right there. And just like that, it's back It's back to Space's uh, favor because of the ink especially. And as you mentioned, it just takes one bad interaction and the momentum has shifted entirely. Oh, look at that, a little bit slow on the trigger there, I studying and the Space with the immediate air dodge. Very well done. Yeah, I think maybe Ooh! last game. Oh, that's a kill. Okay, I'm studying a little bit, a little bit iffy on the trigger finger. I think maybe last game Space tried to jump over him after the roller. And that's definitely something he, uh, <laughs> he's he, going to he think knows. twice yeah. about now. It's not going to happen. Off stage, Shuriken, but it is ice studying. He's not going to push it very, very much further. Actually went for the run of back air. That's very uncharacteristic. That is his uh, main mix-up, I guess. You don't see it often. Oh, and there but there's the a hydro pump. Mm. And it's well awareness done. of Inkling, you know, knowing not to get too close to the landing of the uh, super uh, jump. Because that does have a cheeky little hitbox that has no business being there. Exactly. That but you need to be aware of it. <laughs> Inkling can shine you off stage, and she will if you miss mess up pimping her. There is the string by Ice Studying. Very well done. Look at this. Going all the way across Battlefield. Left to right, right to left. Yeah, he He's kept all over space. Into Ooh. the off smash. Gets the sideward hit. In this case, it might actually be better than the upwards hits because the corner situation that arises after. Yeah, definitely. However, oh, there, there's, the, there's the lock. Very well Some done. big damage. He's all inked up. Can Space get another follow-up while the ink lasts? Nope. Ice setting using those platforms very well to get out of this advantage, back to neutral. And out of neutral, he just gets so much mileage because of that shuriken. However, you cannot shuriken that close to, shur to uh, Inkling because she does have that amazing Amazing back air, short hole back air, very, very, very good move. So I know Greninja used to love perfectly flat stages. How uh, how, how does that play out in Ultimus? Uh, as I mentioned before, I just think uh, Final Destination is Inkling's best stage. So versus Inkling, you don't want to play on the stages where you don't have platforms to land on. Mm, and so so why does uh, Space counterpick Battlefield himself? Does he think Probably it's more Because he, he does get a few uh, platform extensions off of his grabs, and that mm -hmm. helps a little bit. Uh, maybe he's a little bit afraid to land on the flat ground versus Greninja himself. Also makes sense. Yep. And Space getting the roller, getting that lead. Space looking solid right here, but I setting with the lateral back air once again. A one mix one up. Yeah. Haven't seen that a lot from him yet. yet. One one in Stonks. Uh, it looks like Space uh, could not use his invincibility to get any bonus damage. And 50%, you know, it, it's right around the edge where you think, okay, this is still very doable. And you think, oh, I'm in trouble. Yep. There's a jab, 69% for Ice Studying. But he answers with the back air. Only going to get the last hit, not a lot of damage. The space looking comfortable. But Ice Studying building the pressure. Building that pressure, dash attack. Got him cornered. What is it going to be? He's going to try to get the pressure on. Jumps over the jab. Nair Very well fair. done by Ice Studying. Wow. And a downside to cover all drift. He's back in the lead again. And just like that, offstage pressure. Cornered. One good roll by Space. And he's back to center stage. The backer, uh, backers are going to come back out. And look at this. Look at this pressure. The ink. Oh, yeah. And the splat bomb is going to cover and the jump. And Ninja is definitely in kill percent now. This is uh, a little bit more damage. And he should definitely start worrying about that roller again. Oh, he should start worrying about up throw up air right now. I think Space oh, is looking for it. Right. I keep forgetting about it. It's so Smash 4. <laughs> yep, look at that. Space is definitely fishing for that up throw up air, but he's I studying is playing around it so perfectly right now. Beautiful play. Look at that movement. And the roller, and just like that, he didn't jump, he kept rolling, which meant that he just went to the sides. Yeah. Very good presence of mind by Space. Yeah, still got hit, but the only the sour of the sourest of the sour spots. Exactly. So good option by Ice and good option by Space as well. There's a back air once again. Ooh, the splat bomb is going to set up a little bit of a ledge trap right here, but I suddenly is going to negate that using that high, high, high jump, getting over it. 
Ooh, is that a little bit too much for space, but up throw not gonna kill yet. It's four throw not gonna kill yet either. But does Grady just still have his kill throws in yep, this game? Yep, he still does. And there we go. Yes, just Three, as I said oh, it. Oh, I studying, and that's ten bucks down the drain for me. <laughs> 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 Unfortunate for space, valiant effort for though he played very very well. He did, he did. We got a, a, a small little fist bump from Ice Studying as he continues to crack his knuckles. Or whatever yeah. it is that uh, the, he does. You know, the he does a little, little, it, it, it fro a little frog, yeah, froggy 